Hey guys, back with another video. This time with the Victrix model for uh, it's going to be the Berserker specifically um, for my Viking Warband for Saga. As you can see, I primed the models uh, with a matte black, and now I'm with the Zenithal Highlight Bold Titanium White. This is the Berserker that we're doing, uh, and we're going to start off with blocking the biggest color is that uh, Citadel, the Lead Belcher, and really the best way to do this army is in batches. So. We're going to be hitting all the metallic bits, so the chainmail, the axe heads, the shield rings, if, he's, if he has a shield on them. These models, they have a lot of variations, so some of these steps you may actually skip if you're going to be doing like a hearthguard model or another another berserker, because some, sometimes they don't have any armor on them at all. So Try to stick in with the, within the lines, but we will be going with another... A base coat color on the trim pieces just to make it a little bit faster there we go all right this next color that we're going to be going to is going to be the pro curl it's actually going to be the advanced flesh tone um, this works really well as a base color for leather and that's what we're going to be doing here so I learned from mistake from my warriors when I did the whole batch of them that it's just really hard to uh, not hit these trim pieces with that lead belcher, so it's just easier to go with that uh, that base color. And again, uh, model to model, you may not have to do this step, so. Looking pretty good. Alright, now we're going to be moving to another metallic. It's, gonna, it's going to be the Citadel Retributor Armor and the Army Painter Tainted Gold Air. Again, I, I like to use the air just because it flows a little bit easier. There's not a lot of gold accents on these guys, so try to do your best. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the Hardened Leather by Army Painter, Contrast Paint. So you're going to be hitting the belt, any leather pieces. Again, this is going to be dependent on how you want the bottle to look. So if you want to want to have more of this rich leather look for his pants, his tunic. It's really up to your interpretation. Some of my axe um, handles, I'll actually use this color just again to have a more of a variation. Here I'm going to actually go and hit the shoes just to get that, that rich leather look. I do like that. Hardened leather is probably one of my favorite speed paints from Army Painter. Next we're going to go to the dark wood and we're going to use it just where you think we're going to the wood of the handle and then also the back uh the wood portion uh, the paneling on the shield itself not too bad pretty quick now we're going to go to the pallid bone and again this is a good uh mediocre color for any type of like lighter color uh leather if that's what you're going for and that's that's what i'm using it here also it's a good hair color if you're wanting sort of that blonde like almost pure blonde um, this, this is a really good color for that all right moving to the zealot yellow this time we're going to focus on the actual vikings hair and his beard this is a really good color for almost like a a blonde red look if you're if you're going for that or almost like an orangish tone to it another great great paint from army painter flows really well i love this this miniatures pose with the head it's just it just looks like a berserker to me so that's what i wanted to make them so as you can see i'm doing the whole lot of them at the same time all right next color is going to be the holy white it's going to have a very gray ish tone when it dries and I'm going to uh, use this on the pant legs just to lighten them up a little bit because of that hardened leather look I, I didn't want it to be too dark all right now we're going to move to the island blue by army painter another great paint very dark rich blue so if, I'm going to hit this with this tunic here it looks really good definitely gives gives a lot of rich color to your army which I'm all about for the vikings it's just a you know, you just have so many color variations within the army. It looks awesome on the tabletop. It does a really good job without actually, um, you know, with your highlights from your Zenithal highlight that you don't really have to go back and do much highlights after this, which is pretty nice. 
All right, next we're gonna work on that flesh. So the Pro Curl Tan Flesh, this is probably my go-to base tan color uh, for, for flesh tones. Super light, works really well. I'm actually not gonna use this tan flesh for the decapitated head because I want that pale look. Um, and so we'll use a wash for that. Next, we're going to start washing the model. We're gonna uh, use the metallics first. So we're gonna hit, hit it with a Procurl black wash. This will really tone down the model and uh, just pull everything together. I love this wash. Um, a representative of this would be the Citadel, the Null Oil. So make sure you, you don't forget any of the metallic bits on the shield. If you did paint it uh, metallic, you could ov obviously paint the shield rim with a leather too. This is a Crusader skin from Army Painter. Again, another contrast. I use it more as a wash on top of that, that tan flesh for Impro Curl. And then I'm going to wash the decapitated head uh, with this. And it still keeps a little bit of pigment in there. You know, gives it that pinkish tone, skin tone. But at the same time, it's, it's definitely a lot uh, lighter than the actual Viking. All right, now we're all based. And you can see that the model looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy how it came out. I used an umber brown for the base color. I will have another link in the description for how I did the transfer for the shield. So that way you can get, you guys can uh, be able to see that. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep the content coming. All right, guys. Thanks.